Hello, so today we're going to have a look at this helmet, and this is a Romanian M73 helmet. That came up very strange. A Romanian M73 helmet. And it's a surprisingly good helmet, actually. So this is one of the sort of, you know, Cold War steel pots that was a bit more conical, like the Soviet SSH-68 and the East German M56. So this is actually quite an old design, weirdly. So I'm filming this on my mobile, so the cool thing means I can actually go around like that the uh, helmet. So anyway, this is basically the Romanian M73. Now, from what I understand, there was a Dutch helmet, I think called the M2327. And that was basically the helmet this was designed from. Now, I don't know if it was a licensed copy, unlicensed, whatever, but it's a pretty cool design. So this was used by communist Romania. Um, so it's got the strap system that's quite good where they basically go around your ears rather than over your ears. It also means the helmet's a bit more secure because it's gripped by two straps on each side, not one. Now, let's have a look at the actual helmet design. you notice there's a few sort of rivets on there where it's kept in. Now, it's got a very interesting line to this helmet. So, um, what you can see there at the back is there's basically a neck flap to it. And I kind of wondered what that was for. And then somebody in the comments, I don't know if this is right or wrong, but thank you for the clever suggestion, said basically, so when you've got the neck strap, like that on the back, it's, if you lean your head back, the helmet doesn't dig into your neck as much, which makes a lot of sense. So the helmet also has an interesting strap design. It's got like no buckle or anything like that, really. What you do is you pull the um, strap through these loops and then you simply um, put it through a tab there. But this design means that basically you can fit it with respirators easily because you've got a lot of slack on that strap. So it's not like one of those helmets where it's a fixed length strap and if you're trying to fit, wear it with a respirator, you know, you need a custom strap or not to wear the strap. So this works quite well with masks on the few masks I've tried it with. If you've got a big panoramic lens mask, though, it's not going to fit very well with this, obviously, because this, um, you know, blocks the panoramic um, bit on there. But it would work fine with the Romanian gas masks, which are like the M65 style ones. So there you go. There's not loads to say about this. It's a steel pot helmet. And as we've said before, steel pot helmets are absolutely fine for protecting the wearers against shrapnel and dirt flying up from, you know, um, explosions. They were never designed to stop bullets. These sort of helmets generally were okay at stopping things like 9mm, but they weren't, you know, designed for it. It was just kind of, if you were lucky, you were protected sort of thing. So, there we are. This is the Romanian M73. And as you can see, it's a pretty damn good helmet for what it is. A bit of a weird shape. And again, credit goes to Dutch, I guess, who originally came up with the design. Romania just copied it, either licensed or unlicensed. But yeah, it's, it's a good design for what it is, basically. It's, um, you know... Just simply a um, good steel pot helmet with fairly good ballistic profiling. And again, interesting because it's got like this little leather bit at the back, which obviously gives you some protection chip for your neck and I guess just a comfort thing. Um, I did find some pictures of soldiers wearing these with like massive woolly hats under them where the helmet wasn't really covering much of their head, defeating the purpose of it. But the line is quite good because it seems to be one of those helmets where you can probably get it to fit most heads through messing about with the liner as opposed to needing like six different size steel pots and, you know, liners, and then you have to get one closest to your side and then play about with it. So, yeah, overall a good design, um, and yeah, I quite like this. So thanks to my Romanian viewers for recommending this to me, and it was just one of those helmets that eventually turned up on eBay for sensible money, not silly money. So if you want one of these, look up Romanian M73 helmet on eBay, and you should be able to find them, no issue.